Breaking news here on Ravens Rundown. The Baltimore Ravens have made a signing a day after their win against the Philadelphia Eagles as they have added corner Tay Hayes to the roster. Welcome in to this special at-home breaking news edition of the Ravens Rundown. Tyler Jones here with you with uh, the latest on this signing. Tay Hayes, he has been a journeyman of sorts throughout his time in the National Football League. Originally was undrafted out of Appalachian State in 2019. Ended up uh, spending the 2019 season at first with the Jacksonville Jaguars, then went to the Miami Dolphins, and he was there till 2020, and then went to the Minnesota Vikings after that to finish off the 2020 season. 2021, he was part of the offseason and practice squad programs of the Arizona Cardinals and the Carolina Panthers. Um, we also saw him in 2022 in the USFL of the Birmingham Stallions. More on that later as he was a part of a championship team. Then in 2022, went on to play for the Carolina Panthers as well as the New England Patriots and also was with the Detroit Lions is where the Ravens were able to claim him uh, off of waivers today. And most recently with the Detroit Lions, the Lions played uh, on Friday night in a game against the New York Giants, their first preseason game, and he got active. He was involved in that game. Uh, as he recorded a pass breakup and a special teams tackle in that win over the New York Giants. So he made an impact of sorts in that game there. And if you look at this Baltimore Ravens team, you go back to what happened last night against the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes, you got the win, but the Ravens really struggled when it came to pass defense. As Tanner McKee, the former Stanford quarterback, just picked them apart and was having a field day going after the Ravens secondary. Now, granted, the Ravens were uh, not playing, you know, their, their starters, their first-team guys. But nonetheless, the depth, the depth issue showed uh, from that secondary. And so bringing in a guy like Tay Hayes gives this team more options just to see if they can find uh, better guys, whether it's competing uh, when it comes to camp with another body involved to see who can earn a spot or adding a potential depth piece here to make that 53-man roster. The odds are stacked against Tay Hayes, if we're going to be frank with you, of making the 53-man roster. Is it possible? Sure. Um, is it likely? No. But nonetheless, this is a chance that I think is worth taking, of bringing in Tay Hayes with as much we saw that uh, secondary struggle and, and to give this guy a shot to see what he can do as far as I'm concerned. We will go over Tay Hayes' statistics from the NFL as well as the USFL coming up in just a few moments. So don't worry about that. We got all those numbers that you need to know so you can get familiar with Tay Hayes here in just a second. We'll go over those in just a bit, but first, want to hear from you guys in the comments section. What is your one-word reaction to the Ravens signing Tay Hayes. Give me one word to describe what you think of this move by the Ravens to bring Tay Hayes to Baltimore. My one word is, all right, that's fine. You know, I mean, <laughs> does it move the needle? Probably not a whole lot, if we're going to be real with y'all. But it's worth a shot. It's worth a shot as far as I'm concerned. So my one word is, all right, fine. Let's, let's just see what happens. Just roll with it. Folks, this is why you subscribe to the channel. This is my off day. After the Ravens won last night, I'm sitting here at home, I kid you not, I was watching the NASCAR race at the Indianapolis road course. And then this news broke, and we had to get a video. So even though I'm at home and enjoying my Sunday afternoon, here I am with the flock bringing you guys videos. Subscribe to the channel for daily news and rumors. We're also doing watch parties, as you saw last night. We had a heck of a time. And if you missed out on that, boy, it was a dandy. And we're going to be doing more watch parties here in the future. Uh, we also have our live shows as well. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel now. If you need any reason to subscribe, just do it as a thank you for me bringing you a video here on my off day as well. So subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did for the latest happenings on your Baltimore Ravens. Turn on notifications so you never miss a moment. Make sure to join us for our next watch party here on the channel. Let's go ahead and go over these statistics now for Tay Hayes. Let's start with his NFL stats. I'll say this. I'll be frank with you all. There's not a whole lot of numbers uh, here to work with, but there are numbers nonetheless. Tay Hayes has played in uh, a total of 13 games dating back to 2019 with the Jags, Dolphins, Vikings, Panthers, and Patriots. Played in two games last year for New England. Uh, and Jacksonville did not record a stat, 
in Miami. His 2019 season had six tackles uh, and two pass deflections. 2020, he had uh, three tackles. Uh, and then 2020, played in one game with Minnesota, didn't record a stat. 2022, played in five games with Carolina, uh, and he recorded three tackles. And then in 2022, played in two games with the Patriots, and he recorded three tackles. Now, more in depth, when he had a bigger role, a bigger spotlight on him, was his time with the USFL Birmingham Stallions, where he won a USFL championship. In these numbers, he played a significant role, had a big impact uh, on that championship team for Birmingham. Listen to this. Uh, just a, a couple of seasons ago, uh, back in uh, the summer of 2022 with the Birmingham Stallions, he had 37 tackles and one interception uh, for that Birmingham Stallions team. So uh, played a big part with that team and helping them win that championship there and then went on to still play uh, you know, some games in the NFL last year. Played a total of seven games after playing a full USFL slate as well. So Tay Hayes, um, even though it's 13 games of NFL experience uh, in the regular season, there's more than you would think when you factor in the USL, USFL factor. So uh, we'll see. Uh, I don't mind it for the Baltimore Ravens. Get another body in there, try to help out with that uh, pass coverage and see what ultimately he can do. So now... Grade the signing. What do you make of this move by the Ravens to sign Tay Hayes? Give me a grade. A, B, C, D, or F. What do you think of this move by Baltimore to sign Tay Hayes and give him a shot to make the 53-man roster, claiming him off waivers from the Detroit Lions? Give me a grade. A, B, C, D, or F. And let us know what you think of this signing by the Baltimore Ravens. The Ravens get the win last night over Philadelphia. 24 straight preseason wins for the Baltimore Ravens, but... One of the big stories is how much they struggled in pass coverage. Today, they take immediate action. They get some help here. Will Tay Hayes help them that much? That remains to be seen. But nonetheless, they take an aggressive approach where they say, we got work to do. We got to do something here. And that's what they're doing with the signing with Tay Hayes. Stay tuned to the channel. Got more stuff coming up uh, over the next several days as we continue to cover your Baltimore Ravens. Uh, with the daily news and rumors. Even if I'm at home, we still find ways to bring you a video here on the channel. Um, and then, of course, we've got another watch party coming up here in a few days as well. So stay tuned for that. And uh, we'll have more to come here on Ravens Rundown. We are your off-season headquarters. We're counting you down to the start of kickoff. Keep it tuned right here to Ravens Rundown. Give me a follow on social media as well. Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and more. At Tyler Jones Live, you can find me there. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time right here on Ravens Rundown.